really, I can't, oh my gosh. So you'll have math for elementary, and don't over your, my next suggestion is to be, what? Why can't I say that sentence? Hey guys, it has been about a month since I posted my last video and in that month I have completed two classes. So now my total is four classes that I've completed since August 1st. The two classes that I passed were C-181, the Survey of the United States Constitution and Government, and Math for Elementary Educators 1, which is the first of a three class series. You'll have Math for Elementary Educators 1, 2, and 3. So I just wanted to give you guys a couple of tips and suggestions and my opinions on each of those classes. So if you are on the Facebook groups or anything, or if you know anybody that has gone to this school and has taken the United States Constitution and government, then you'll know that with this class, there's so much negativity surrounding it. It's not even funny. It is a very heavy class. There is a lot of material, a lot of things to work through, and for a lot of people it really can be boring. It's kind of just like a history class. So I wanted to give you guys some, some tips on how I conquered this class. So my first impressions of the class were, this is a lot of reading, this is a lot of content, and everybody that I have talked to about this class has said nothing but negative things about it. So I spoke with my student mentor and I told her that I was nervous to take it because it really is just kind of, it's a scary class um, at first glance. So my suggestion to you is to look at it with a positive attitude. Do not look at it like this is a, a very, you know, heavy class. This is, you know, a hard class. I'm never going to be able to pass this. Look at it positively. Always be positive because if you're negative, you will set yourself up to fail. And don't overwhelm yourself with high goals. Don't try to, to put in five chapters into, you know, one week. Start it slow. See what you can handle. Start with one chapter a week and see how that goes. If you need to do half a chapter in a week, do that. If you, need, if you can do more than that, absolutely do it. But when you start, do not overwhelm yourself with it because it really, when you first look at it, it is, it's a little scary. So just be positive. So my student mentor suggested to be positive. So I looked at this class as like, okay, I'm just going to get through it. I'm going to take my time with it. I didn't want to put too much pressure on me. And I finished the class in about five weeks. Now I know that with the school, everyone loves to accelerate through everything because you can do it. You can do as many competency units in one term that you want. But with a class like this, I feel like I feel like there's a few classes that need a little bit of TLC. You need to take your time with them, take it slow. You can't zoom through it in one day. My next suggestion is to attend the cohorts. So I discussed this in other videos. The cohort is kind of just a class that you can go to live. They also have recorded ones. Now, with this class, a lot of the classes, if you sign up for a cohort, they'll send you the video. With this class, they never sent me the videos, so I had to actually attend them. Um, and it really wasn't bad. They have a full schedule written out for the month. For a full month, it's the same schedule every week. You just go and you attend when you can. And they helped me so much. Like, there is nothing like one-on-one -on -one teaching or teaching where you can ask questions. And, you know, even there's other people in the group that can ask questions that maybe you weren't even thinking that you needed, but they say. And it's just very helpful to have that interaction. Um, and they really did help me a lot. I attended a lot of the cohorts for this class and they really do. They really help you out a lot. Another suggestion I have for you is to make a meeting with your mentor. What I did was I emailed my course mentor as soon as I started the class and just asked for tips and tricks and you know what was the best way to go about finishing this class. And for each chapter there is a study guide and I printed out all the study guides and I kind of filled those in. I did those for the first few chapters and then it kind of just wasn't working out for me. Um, a lot of the cohorts are based off of what the study guide says, so if that's your way of learning, then I would suggest doing that. I personally just like to take notes, and I did a lot of flashcards. Flashcards are like key for this. And there's also a space, when you open your course and you get into the main page of your course, on the right hand side of the screen there's 
a few different tabs that you can click. And on one of those tabs, I believe it's the course chatter. Let me check. Do, 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 do. Course tips. So the course tips tab, you're gonna wanna click that, click view all, and on that list should be Jeopardy games. Play those Jeopardy games. I have played each of them until I got all of the answers right. And it really, it, they are the same questions over and over again, but the repetitiveness is really nice because you really do learn what those terms mean. So that is a very, a very high on my list of suggestions to study for this class. Also make your own flashcards. Also, they have an app called Quizlet. I can't seem to get into that one. It's flashcards on your phone, basically. You can write in your own questions and fill it out, but I'd much rather just, I like to have like the hard copy of something. I don't like to do it. It's funny because I'm going to an online school and everything is online and it's digital, but I really am the type of person that I like to have like something solid in front of me to go through all that material. And like I said, make sure you contact the course mentor. Just make it nice and short, nice and sweet. Hey, you know, I just started this course. I want to know what you think is the best way for me to go about completing it. And you'll get an email back from your mentor. And also, I didn't need this throughout this course, luckily, but utilize the one-on-one -on -one at times that you can have. You can make an appointment to have a phone conversation with them, and you can actually have one-on-one -on -one schedule appointments to go over anything that you need help with which is amazing. And don't hesitate to contact them. This is what they're there for. They love to help. I have not met a course mentor yet that was rude or negative or someone that I didn't want to work with. So make sure you utilize them because this is what they're there for. Another thing that I really did was I took a lot of brain breaks. So throughout my studying, if I just felt like it was just too much reading and it was too much for me, I would read for about a half an hour, then I'd walk away for 10 minutes whether it was to go outside, take a short walk around my house, or if it was to just, you know, scroll through Facebook or go on your phone, study for 30 minutes, take 10 minute break, find something that would work for you because it really is a lot of information to just try to cram in there all at one time and you will get burnt out. And taking these brain breaks really, like 10 minutes doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a world of a difference. And if you get frustrated, don't be like afraid to walk away. Just walk away from the coursework. Just say, I can't work on you anymore tonight. And just go do something that's going to calm you down and, you know, take your mind away from it because you don't want to be stressed out from this. And if you're having trouble with it, don't be discouraged. Know that everyone pretty much that I have ever talked to about this class has, you know, been nervous about it. It really wasn't that bad. I will say it was, it was very meaty. It was, it was a, there was a lot of information in that class, but the awesome thing about it is it's things that like can apply to you. It's our, the history of our government. It's the history of the constitution. And you know, that is what makes America, America. Those were the foundations and it's actually pretty cool to learn about those things. So just kind of look at it from that perspective and just, I can't stress it enough. Just be positive. Don't look at this negatively. Just be positive about it. Also, there's tricks where you can, Give yourself a treat, give yourself incentives like you're in, you know, elementary school again. Say, okay, if I can read through three pages, I'll give myself a Reese's. If I can read through two pages, I'll give myself a Twizzler, you know, make those things like something to look forward to at the end. A lot of times at night I was like, okay, I'm not going to finish this chapter, I can't. And then I look at it and I'm like, I have four sections left, just read it and just push through. And I did and you know I ended up passing and it did take me it took me five weeks to pass this course which a lot of people probably think that's a long time for an accelerated you know college <coughs> excuse me but it really it wasn't because I retained the information I took my objective assessment and I passed my first time so you know just slow and steady wins the race be the tortoise, not the hare. And my final suggestion for this class is just to hold yourself accountable and make sure you're hitting those deadlines that in goals that you have set for yourself for that week. You and your student mentor will have conversations and you'll set a goal for the week. Make sure you hit those. And that's why I said at the beginning of this video, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Start slow. For the first week, see if you can finish one chapter. And you know, if you finish the chapter in a day, 
then move on to more so then next week you know okay maybe I should raise my goal a little bit higher so you know don't be discouraged you will get through this course I promise you and the great part about it is once you're finished you're finished and you don't ever have to take it again one more thing about this class I wanted to mention was that the chapters that are weighted the heaviest on the objective assessment are chapters 3 4 15 and 16. So those four chapters, make sure you are taking your time on those and learning everything. Remember the court cases, remember your amendments. So now I'm going to jump into Math for Elementary Educators 1. I mean, it's math. I don't really have a lot of tips for you because it's math. You love it or you hate it. It really, I don't like math. I'm not good at math. I have never been good at math and I was a little nervous for this class, but it really wasn't that bad. It's a lot of word problems, so make sure you're going through and you're actually reading the question. Um, you can use a calculator and a dry erase board. So there was a lot of people that I saw on Facebook said that they didn't know that they could use a calculator. You can use a calculator. There's one chapter that is, um, it's all about solving word problems in your head. So for that, you don't really need a calculator for, obviously. But for everything else, you can use a calculator. This, I use, <clears throat> I use this Casio calculator. It's basically the generic version, the Walmart version of like a TI-85. Is that what it is? Something like that. But it's the cheap version of that. I had it from when I went to my community college and we needed a graphing calculator. I haven't needed, to, I've basically only used <clears throat> Um, this also worked for my assessment. They were fine with it. They do ask to see it. And then in your student success kit, you will get the dry erase board and a marker, which I mean, is this. I've used it once and it's already all smeared up, but this is what you use um, on your test. You don't get to use pen and paper on your test. This is what you use. Um, you don't have to use the WGU one. You can use your own as long as there's no writing or anything on it. It's just a blank white dry erase board. Just try not to get frustrated. Use those course mentors. That's what they're there for. And the cohorts, my suggestion of that is sign up for them because they do send you the videos every single night they have a cohort. So I signed up for my math cohorts when I was taking my constitution and government class. So while I was taking that class, I was getting videos every week for math. So that way, when I actually went to go work on that chapter, I could go and watch those cohorts. Um, it really wasn't that bad. Don't be intimidated by this class. I can't speak on the other math classes, but math for elementary educators really isn't that bad. You know, just kind of work it through. And if you have any questions, just contact your course mentor or use the math center under the student um under these student success centers. So now that I finished those two classes, I am now working on Survey of World History, which is my first performance assessment class, which is um, the assessment you don't have your multiple choice, you have kind of short answers. So for this one, there's five tasks and you submit them to what's called task stream. I have not submitted anything yet, so I can't speak on how this will all work. I'm actually still working on my first task. So as soon as I am done with this class, I'll be able to give you guys some information about the performance assessments. So as far as competency units goes, I now have 41 completed. So 41 out of 122 completed. I am one third of the way through my degree, 33%. Thank you all for coming to my channel and watching my video. I really appreciate it. If these videos are helpful for you, please hit the subscribe button so that you can get notified whenever I put out a new video. As always, if you guys have any questions, please just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to try and help them. Like I've said before, I am no expert, but I am, you know, just kind of taking you guys on my journey and learning. And if there is anything that I am unsure of, I will do my best to get that information as accurate as possible for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time.